Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and here we are, once again, playing Skyrim. So, whoa, I have removed some mods, including Skyfalls and Sky Mills, which was giving distant animated waterfalls and mills. Uh, and I also have taken out Dual Sheath Redux and all geared up. So, hopefully things will be a little bit more stable. I've also readjusted my recording to my primary drive, since my Skyrim is on my secondary one, so hopefully that'll help smooth out loading speeds and exterior cell loading hitches. Eh, seems to be doing alright so far. And in case you're wondering where we're going, and I've installed the alternate... Oh, oh leave it. I've installed the uh, ow, alternate texture, the one that gives you the map that you got if you pre-ordered the game, the sort of paper map, which I do own, so. Oh, right. We are going to work our way up here to Karthwaston, and I'm hoping to run into an afflicted refugee along the way, because our primary goal for today is to at least get the Shrine of Pyrites started. I really need to work on actually completing the quest for this place at some point. The, I say started because it requires gems. Gems that... Eh, I don't know. It might be a garnet. I'm not sure on that one. If it requires a flawless garnet, that would be pretty impressive. Needless to say, I don't know offhand what it requires. I know it requires a gem, a flawless gem of some kind. Possibly a sapphire, but I think it's a garnet, actually. Now that I think about it. Is that the noise of something shooting at me? Um, I think it requires some vampire dust, possibly. Whoa. Now wait one moment here. That is not at all what I was planning to find on the road. Oh, balls. Uh, what? Okay. Um... Lesser Corrupted Hybrid. I suppose if it was lesser, but still. Oh, Vampire Dust. Convenient. Potion of Blood. Hmm. Hagraven Feathers, Human Flesh, and 100 Gold. I really feel like that shouldn't have died that easily, but... Maybe I need to tweak the difficulty on... Uh, Skyrim Immersive Creatures again, because that is what that's from. That much I can assure you. So, let's see. What does the signs say? Markarth is that way. Very good, very good. Whiterun is that way, and Karth Walston is this way. I'm actually kind of disappointed that I haven't run into an afflicted refugee. Unless I've already. No. This entry stuck in here now, by the way, which is annoying, but amusing. Whoop. I want you sell swords out of my mind. Watch your tongue, native. We'll leave when we're sure there's no force worn here. Oh, when would that be, I wonder? Uh-huh. Sell my land to the Silverbloods? The Silverbloods have made you a very generous offer for this pile of dirt. I suggest you take it. Some interesting looking armor you have there, sir. Eh. I haven't seen an afflicted refugee. Honestly, the easiest way to find it would be to ride on the road, but uh We are in control. Let's have a look at this guy. The mine is closed. Forsworn attacked a while back. Jarl had no men to spare. So the Silverbloods generously offered to send us to clean things up. We just want that old native to hand over his land in payment for our services. Then we'll leave, and everyone can get back to work. Or you'll fire him for, you know, not having, uh... Right. Anything to happen. I may be a lizard. 
I may not really care too much about what people think, but I still do have an idea of moral concepts, and this is just, if the force especially after what happened with the Silverbloods the in Murkarth, I am very upsetting. I'm one of the few native sons of the Reach that owns land. Doesn't make me very popular. Robbery mm. is what it is. The Silverbloods are trying to muscle in on my land. The force won't attack the mines, and suddenly all these cell swords show up to hell. They won't let anyone work until I sell it off. I'm not gonna lie. You may be a native of the Reach, but if you got attacked by the Forsworn, then you're clearly not one of them. And the Silverbloods have not exactly left a good impression on me either. So. Try, but I keep your sword arm ready if things get ugly. Oh, if things get ugly. Making sure my flasks are where they're supposed to be. If things get ugly, I will wreck their day. Did they go into the mine? They did. Curious. Quite curious. We are in control of this mine. No sudden moves. Uh, not you. We are in control of this mine. You. No the mine moves. is cool. Helping out Ina Thatch, huh? Give me a reason not to plunge a dagger in your chest. Let's see them make us. Uh, these people aren't worth money. If I give them money, there's a good chance they'll come back. Although if I attack them, there's a good chance they might kill me. I thought today was going to be boring. I could have just waited for him to hit my shield. Oh yeah, I can cannibalize. Hmm. This gives me an idea. You. Om nom 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 nom. That's what I think of you. Okay, I I was wondering if that was me the case. I'm actually quite happy that it isn't. And what I'm talking about is the health regeneration that is afforded by the Ring of Namira from cannibalizing. I was hoping that it wouldn't actually work, because technically I have zero base regeneration. Although, when you look at it, my Hist skin works. And it's, I thought, based off of base regeneration, but apparently not. Which is good to know. Is there any more mercenaries in this mine? I should keep my sword handy just in case. Yes, there is. These guys are... they're wearing fur armor and I'm actually pretty decked out at the moment. So... I'm going to excuse the rate at which I'm killing them on that basis. Because you've seen how Fulmer and Dwarven Automatons provide me slight difficulties, especially Falmers and their poisons. Uh-huh. Iron gear. No, I'm quite happy with my armor. One thing I do have to say about Dwarven armor, at least in... It's been a long time since I've played Morrowind or Oblivion, so I can't really make any good statement on that, and I don't believe the like, dwarven crafting style exists in ESO. If it's been added, I wouldn't know, because uh, I stopped playing whenever Craglorn was introduced to ESO, even though it's gone free-to-play recently. And as such, I don't know if they've added any new crafting styles, but dwarven armor in Skyrim is extremely bulky. And okay, okay, I can understand it. You know it's built to have this sort of almost golem-esque feel. But still. And closed faced helmets as an Agarnian is one thing that I really despise because they have this bad habit of face flattening. The Nords are trying. I'm one of the few natives that won't be the last we hear from the silver. Thank you. You've done a good thing for me and my workers. Yeah, I know it won't be the last time you hear of them. But you know what? Farewell. I don't care. If I'm gonna do uh Periate proper I want to find an afflicted refugee, just because it'll smooth things out a bit. 
And I looked into horse camera mods, by the way. I couldn't really find anything. Ah, uh, hello, you folks. You're going the wrong way. Solid. <sighs> Whatever. Hmm. Why? We're going to ignore the fact that I can seemingly see into the world. And we're going to ride on the road and have a look, see if we can't find an afflicted refugee. Hopefully. Who knows? Maybe I'll just end up running the whole way to solitude or something. Oh, that might be one. That? Nope, that's a force war. Okay. I don't want to take my horse into combat because horse combat's been a bit odd. Are you really following me this far? Ow. Ow. Rude. I'm sure they probably have nothing of worth to me. Still in combat with something. Damn, that looks picturesque. Anywho. I think we're going to get back on my little journey bit damaged from the combat there, but eh, I don't really want to use up an Estus Flask quite yet. Do Okay. The thing is, is normally I find afflicted refugees all the time. But when I actually want one, can I find him? No. Of course not. Hmm. What? Whoa! 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 What is with the bugginess? Oh, I trampled him. To death, apparently. Huh. Eh, we'll grab it. Probably won't use it. How did that? Hey, you. Get trampled on. Okay. There's quite a lot of bandits here. We'll run behind this rock. Get off our horse. Horse? What are you doing, horse? Oh, here comes a melee guy. I'll wipe behind the rock for him. Oh, it's the chief. This is an interesting little occurrence. Oh, he shield bashed me! That was unexpected. Oh dear. Die. Oh jeez. Okay. Chief is down. Oh, 
Well then, that was eventful. Let it be known that bandits aren't quite as easy as I uh, was trying to make them sound. Nord Mail Harbuck. Yes, well, unfortunately, none of these are particularly useful at this point. You know, technically, I think Orcish gear is supposed to be better than Dwarven, but the Dwarven seems to be better. I don't know. Maybe if we actually pick it up, it'll make a difference, but somehow I don't feel that's going to change matters. Yeah. The Dwarven Greatsword is still two points better. So that's fun. Hmm. Oh. I can't see it in the sun. Come on. Ha! Took me a few arrows, but I don't care. I shot a bird out of the air. Hawk feathers, hawk beak, down feathers. Hmm. Well, that was a distraction. Come, horse. We have much work to do. We may end up at solitude if we keep this up. That looks to be an elk. Yes, those are animals. Hmm. Perhaps we're going to have to go to Periite Shrine more directly. Because this is not quite as I would like it to be. What the? Why are you here? Uh, I can't be bothered with the skeever. Let's just continue on our way back to Karth Walston. Kind of odd. Things appear to be functioning, but me. I mean, come on, that one group of bandits literally spawned on top of me. I heard the sound of somebody running a grindstone up there. I think my horse has run out of stamina. I think the actual stamina changes have affected horses because I feel like the horse runs for a lot longer than it did. Yeah, something weird's going on because the grass just decided I'm loading in now. Oh, you're those idiots. Uh. I know where Periate Shrine is. What the crap? Okay. We're, uh... We're not gonna question the game. The game does what it wants. So. Here comes the great question. What is the simplest way to Periate Shrine? I would guess probably up this, uh, very vaguely designed path. game. Okay. I'm beginning to wonder if maybe I have so many graphical mods that the game's just becoming deeply confused. That or maybe ENB is freaking out, who knows. I've disabled it though and it has basically zero impact on frame rate, which is amusing.
Ah, shrine to Periite. Yeah. How can I assist? I see. It appears I cannot do this quest yet. Ah, skill block. Hmm. This one needs something. I wonder what the level requirement for periite is. Well, how did we get here? This way. I'm not particularly interested in heading towards that dwarven ruin, which I'm pretty sure is part of this quest. So perhaps we should take a visit to Solitude. Perhaps by horse. Oh, come on. Okay, to hell with horse combat. There, dealt with. Complaining about there not being any charge left in my item. Charge it with a common. And a petty. There. Oh, that gives me enchanting experience. Interesting. I wasn't aware of this. There. And that deals with the rock joint. You know what? Screw it. Deal with the uh, health loss while we're at it. I do believe I put the humanity in the bottomless book, so I should be able to kindle the solitude bonfire. The great question is, is how long is it going to require us to get there by a horse? We're going to ignore the fact that he was poking through the back of the carriage. Yeah, the grass is being odd, to say the least. So I wonder if my slight issues aren't maybe pertaining to possibly the grass, or maybe it's partly in due to the fact that uh, I have tweaks that are probably bad, bad, bad tweaks to have. Namely, all the uh, the tweaks in the INIs to add threading to just about every part of the game, when in reality, I don't think they actually do anything other than make the game slightly more unstable. Save for the one Havoc based one, which if done right, I believe can uh, make the game slightly better overall multi-threaded. And there's enough things in the game that I think there's enough threads that you shouldn't need to multi-thread everything. Not unless the engine does it by default, so... Who knows? I know that it's raining. I know that I have my sword out unnecessarily. And I know that Solitude is way off in the distance over there. You can barely see it on the horizon. So, I think we're going to ride our horse there and see what kind of mischievous things we get into along the way. Who are you? And why are you here? Hello? 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 Vampire? We're not going to question the game. We're also not going to question why the vampire was running away and not trying to attack us. But okay. Off in the direction of solitude, which may or may not be farther away than I think it is. To which we will find out when we get there. Yes, 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 Al. Oof. They're in the way. So. Question is. Once we're in solitude, what do we do? 
There's the possibility of joining up with the Empire. You know what? Screw you people. I don't care about you. Yeah? What are you gonna do about the fact that I just rode through, huh? Nothing. So, a little reason why I prefer the Empire. First of all, Ulfric, uh, Ulfric, Ulfric and his band of miscreants are quite racist. Like, you walk into Windhelm, and the first thing you see is Nords berating the uh, the Dark Elves. And racism is just not cool. Hello, Thalmor. How you doing? I don't know what's with the distant flashes going on there. That's odd. I don't like it. Ooh. They're dead. And we've seen those arrows before. Those are far more arrows. I think it's better off if you do not tangle with that. We're getting ever so closer to the city of solitude. I realize we could warp there, but I kind of cheated around the system a little bit by warping. Honestly, what I wanted to do is I wanted to find and locate the bonfires so I could warp to them. As I think as Dark Souls basically would require of you. You know? At least to have been to the, the towns they're in at least once. But who knows? Well, I know, because this is what I'm doing. And that shrine up there is Meridia. Eventually we'll require we will get a quest. It will give us access to Dawnbreaker. And then we will probably use Dawnbreaker. But this is of no use to us right now. Because without Meridia's beacon, it's literally pointless. So we'll see. Uh, hopefully I'm not getting too far... Okay, no, no, there's a split up here. Good. I was worried that I might end up be go being... I might end up going the wrong way. Words! They are apparently quite hard. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. That's... Every single time I've seen it, it's been coming off of cards, hasn't it? Hmm. Perhaps, uh, better fast travel is a bit buggy. It's a possibility. I've experienced numerous times where I've used better fast travel, and when I get to my destination, it crashes the game instantly. Like Rogvir, you say? I don't believe I've been to this town yet. Perhaps we ha still have a uh, sight to see. <laughs> Any day now. It's also one of the reasons why I'm a bit hesitant to use uh, the normal fast travel. But we could theoretically just do a bit of a uh, loop around, go to each of the cities. Hmm. Position. Far you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. Well then. You betrayed us. Beggar. Are we waiting for everybody to show up? Is that what's going on? Traitor. Some guard you are. Okay. Is the script going to continue? Traitor. 
Hello? Get on with it. Hmm. Traitor. Perhaps I confused it? it. Okay, plan B. I didn't want to do this because I've been saving most of the waiting and stuff for the uh, bonfires, but. You should tell her that her uncle is scum that betrayed Traitor. his high king. Best she know now, Advar. You're all heart within. Rog there. You have ah, here we go. Stormcloak escaped the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric Liar. challenged Tori. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such fair. Way. Such is the ancient I doubt it. Skyrim and all Nords. If you're going to challenge him to fair combat, why not do it in the open where everybody's a witness? On this day, I go to Sovngarde. Brutal. Okay. Well then. I think it's high time we uh, went and enjoyed the bonfire. Ooh. The reflections are making the ground look a little wet. And I believe things actually are a bit wet because of wet and cold. You can't really tell it so much because I'm an Argonian, maybe we can get some good lighting. Like my armor particularly, certain parts of it look a little wet. It seems to be a thing of whenever it's night time. Although, maybe I just have my reflection settings a bit too strong. Or maybe this is why they weren't enabled in the first place, who knows. But, the bonfire is... Actually, I think we may have been here. I don't think about it. I think we definitely have been, but... This is a very odd place for the bonfire to be, I must say. Grab one of our humanity. Plunk. And stash well of our alchemy ingredients. I think I'm gonna keep the vampire dust on me in case we do manage to run into that quest at some point. What did I just do? There we go. Oh no, that's value per weight. That wasn't on. Screw that. Okay, so we are going to put in three werewolf bolt, uh, pelts. I guess that's all we really have. Eh, yeah, huge knapsack. Is that it? Hmm looks to be it. The rest of it can be sold. So that was a bit of adventuring. Ran into some bandits that were a lot more threatening than I was expecting. Apparently if they swarm you, they're deadlier than I thought. I don't believe we have an available level up because we didn't do much. Oh, actually, never mind, we do. Well then. Strength. Endurance, and you know what? We'll go with personality because I like to use the things that have the highest bonuses. And as we level, we're going to start capping out things anyhow, so it won't make a huge difference in the end, really. The dark and foreboding lizard look. Oop. Not what I meant to do. Ooh. But anyhow, I'm going to call this good for now. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.